Along with the release of Generate Blocks 2.0, we're excited to bring you brand new starter sites inside the Generate Press Premium Site Library, which will be taking advantage of the powerful new styling engine inside Generate Blocks. My name is Jonathan, and today we're going to take a look at Affinity, which you can get access to right now, included with your Generate Press 1 membership. Affinity is a great starting point for an agency portfolio website, and it includes a ton of great components out of the box, like multiple pages, a blog template, and more. We're going to take a look at each of these components and how to customize them to your branding and content later in the video. Starter sites are designed to get you up and running quickly. All you need to do is change out your content and perhaps rearrange a few sections to suit your needs. Looking at my site here, it's just the default Generate Press install, and instead of starting from zero, I'm going to install the Affinity Starter Site and we'll customize it to fit our branding. To get started, we need to activate the site library in the admin dashboard under Appearance and Generate Press, and then we'll click to open the site library link. From there, we can choose Affinity and go through the prompts to install it, which will take just a moment. And then once it's done, we can click to view the site. And in just a brief moment, we already have an amazing structure to work with, including pages, blog post templates, entirely responsive content, custom CTA buttons in the nav menu, and a fully responsive menu that also changes to a slide in on mobile. Now let's take a look at customizing the starter site. First, we're just going to edit some of our page content to make the website feel more like our own. We can edit our homepage by visiting that page in the dashboard or right here on the front end by selecting the edit page button here in the admin bar. From here, I just need to go down the sections and replace the text copy and photos with my content, as well as rearrange, copy, or delete any sections. So here in the block editor, I'll expand my document overview panel to see the blocks already present, and this also allows us to navigate around easier. Let's change this headline here to say something like, ignite your local business with a website that works for you. We don't want to lose that highlight, so we can simply select the part of the text we want to add that color highlight to, then from the drop down, just select highlight and pick one of our Generate Press theme colors. We'll get to swapping out these colors and fonts in a moment as well. I'll go ahead and swap this paragraph text, and then let's also change out the quote here to give our agency some more social proof right away. On the right side, let's also select that top photo and replace it with something else in our media library. We can save this and take a look on the front end, and this site is already starting to come together. Now you're probably gonna want to customize the colors and fonts to better suit your branding, and we can easily swap out all instances of these various purples and blues that come with this Affinity Starter Site, thanks to those being set via Generate Press Global Colors. Since we're still on the front end, let's click Customize, then we'll select Colors, and we can select the first of our three accent colors here. We'll simply just replace this existing value with any valid color value like a hex, RGB, HSL value, and so on, and that will swap the color to whatever we set. I'm gonna use this chestnut orange accent color and then I'll swap the other two out to something similar as well. We can see that the preview window is already showing these changes to all of our colors across the whole site, including the buttons, links, text highlights, and so on. Everything across your entire site that had a global color set has now inherited this change automatically. Once we're happy with that, we can also go back and click on the typography section and swap out those fonts to something else as well. Keep in mind that Generate Press has a native font library system in it to help you serve fonts from your local site, helping you increase performance, security, and privacy. We have other videos about that here on our channel, so click the link in the description to learn more about that. Let's go ahead and publish these changes and then we'll return to the admin dashboard. Let's now take a look at the various elements that are included with Affinity. I'll go to Appearance and Elements, and we can see there's a bunch of stuff here that really makes this site come together. For instance, the navigation call to action button that's on our header is editable via the element here called hook desktop menu button. We can click that element and of course it's already inherited our color change, but let's say we wanted to change the text to call now instead of just simply contact. You can just simply click that button and type that in. This element uses Generate Press powerful display rule system to show this button across your entire site and it's configured to appear after our menu with a hook set to after primary menu. Let's say we don't want this button to show up on the contact page. We can easily do that by adding an exclude rule for page is equal to contact. Now let's save the element. And when we go take a look at the front end, our button text has now changed. And then if we go to the contact page via the footer, we can see the button is now removed from the header, which is exactly what we set it to do. Returning to our elements via the admin bar shortcut here, you can see how many great components come pre-built with these Generate Press starter sites. Let's now take a look at adding some dynamic data to our loop blog template element. 
I'll select that element and then let's say we want to automatically add the name of the category or tag we're currently viewing to the top of the page above all of these posts. We'll simply drop in a generate blocks text element. We'll select the dynamic tags button and then in the list, we're gonna find archive title and click insert tag. If we update that element and then take a look at our blog page, which currently has the title of latest news and articles, we can see that title represented here automatically. And if we click the recent work category in the sidebar, that same text block automatically switches to this current archive title, which in this case is the category name of recent work. This happens automatically thanks to the powerful dynamic tags, along with the generate press display rule setting to apply this loop template to the main blog archive page, along with all the other archives on our site, like categories and tags. Now that we have our site customized to our styling and content, let's build out an entirely new page. Affinity and future starter sites include patterns of the various pages and elements we've already taken a look at, so we can quickly and easily build out entire new sections sections of our site that are gonna match the existing layouts and styles. So first, let's take a look at how we can build out a page. We're just gonna to go to the pages in the admin dashboard, add new, and then we'll call this page something like our pricing. To get to the patterns, let's click on the Generate Blocks logo in the upper right corner, then select Open Pattern Library. Included in any Generate Blocks install is a series of lo-fi wireframe style patterns that help you scaffold out your content really quickly. But what we're after here are the local patterns that came in when we imported Affinity. So to get to those, click this little manage library toggle here and enable this local setting if it's not already. And then we'll select that local tab here at the top. For our new page here, I wanna drop in the hero section first. So I'll just click on insert. And now that that's ready to go, let's get a couple more. We'll wanna make sure we move our cursor down below this section by selecting the container and choosing insert below. So now we're ready to go back to the pattern library and again to the local tab, this time selecting bulk insert first. And what I'm gonna do this time is choose the pricing table and then the testimonial section to give our page some extra credibility. And as you can see, the patterns are automatically detecting the colors and fonts we have set here on our local site. So when we drop in these patterns in just a moment, they're automatically gonna match the rest of our content. Go ahead and click insert all and those additional sections are dropped into the page for us as well. Now we just need to swap out our content and you've got this brand new page ready to go. We'll save this and then take a look on the front end. And just like that, we have an entirely new page built from those existing patterns super quickly and easily. We're super excited to bring you the first of many new Generate Blocks 2.0 ready site library templates. We hope you enjoyed this overview and let us know if you have any questions. If you're not already a Generate Generate Press 1 owner, use the link in the description below to grab your copy today. Again, my name is Jonathan with the Generate Press team, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.